The person attempting to travel two roads at once will get nowhere. If there is no dull and determined effort, there will be no brilliant achievement. Pride and excess bring disaster for man. The noble person uses things. The lesser man is used by things. Man's nature is evil. Goodness is the result of conscious activity. Those whose character is mean and vicious will rouse others to animosity against them. The coming of honor or disgrace must be a reflection of one's inner power. I once tried thinking for an entire day, but I found it less valuable than one moment of study. If knowledge and foresight are too penetrating and deep, unify them with ease and sincerity. If the quickness of the mind and the fluency of the tongue are too punctilious and sharp, moderate them in your activity and rest. When people lack teachers, their tendencies are not corrected. When they do not have ritual and moral principles, then their lawlessness is not controlled. Sacrifices are concerned with the feelings of devotion and longing. Whether the gentleman is capable or not, he is loved all the same. Conversely, the petty man is loathed all the same. If the gentleman has ability, he is magnanimous generous, tolerant, and straightforward, through which he opens the way to instruct others. There are successful scholars, public-spirited scholars, upright scholars, cautious scholars, and those who are merely petty men. The petty man is eager to make boasts, yet desires that others should believe in him. He enthusiastically engages in deception, yet wants others to have affection for him. He conducts himself like an animal, yet wants others to think well of him. If the impulse to daring and bravery is too fierce and violent, stay it with guidance and instruction. Quarreling over food and drink, having neither scruples nor shame, not knowing right from wrong, not trying to avoid death or injury, not fearful of greater strength or of greater numbers. Such is the bravery of the dog and boar. The rigid cause themselves to be broken. The pliable cause themselves to be bound. A person is born with feelings of envy and hate. If he gives way to them, they will lead him to violence and crime, and any sense of loyalty and good faith will be abandoned. Human nature is such that people are born with a love of profit. 
If they follow these inclinations, they will struggle and snatch from each other, and inclinations to defer or yield will die. When a man sees something desirable, he must reflect on the fact that with time it could come to involve what is detestable. When he sees something that is beneficial, he should reflect that sooner or later it too could come to involve harm. If what the heart approves conforms to proper patterns, then even if one's desires are many, what harm would they be to good order? Men of all social stations live together. They are equal in their desires, yet vary in their methods. They are equal in their passions, yet different in their intelligence. That is their nature-given vitality. A person should first be changed by a teacher's instructions and guided by principles of ritual. Only then can he observe the rules of courtesy and humility, obey the conventions and rules of society, and achieve order. Thus that one can find no place to walk through the breath of the earth is not because the earth is not tranquil, but because the danger to every step of the traveler lies generally with words. Thank you for watching.